Hey guys, um, just doing a bit of a follow up video on a reel that I posted last week. Um, had a few people ask if I explain a bit more how we uh, tube the snakes, a bit more of a, what you actually have to do instead of seeing the snake go into it. Um, so the reason why we tube snakes, venomous snakes especially, um, is if they, you obviously need to be a checkup or uh, need a antibiotics or something like that, and some sort of needle or something like that. Um, anything that sort of does not directly on the face, it is directly on the face, you obviously have to restrain them, which is one of the more dangerous things to do, but um, if you've done it enough, it's normally okay. Um, if anything else, and just a normal checkup, what we use are these. I'm gonna stack like that, and you can pick your size. So, we're going to be doing this with uh, my collet snake, a uh, female, and we'll have a guess of what we, and you can sort of change these once they're in. Um, so I reckon we'll go with that size, be about right. And I'll just flip the camera around and show you how we set this up. We've got the yeah, female collet snake, Sedecus colletoi. Um, yeah, she's pretty cool, pretty chill snake. Um, I've had her since she was a size of a pencil. Um, she's actually just shed just now. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, grab her and we'll um, get her into a tube and show you guys how we do that. So as you can see, tube there against the corner. We'll hook the snake out. Yeah, you're gonna play nice and prove right. There you go. And then she goes in like that, and she generally goes all the way in, and you give a bit of a tap, and then voila, snake in a tube. Yeah, so you goes pretty much holding them like that. You can see the whole snake up there. You can check her head out and make sure she's all good um, from close up like that and have no absolutely no chance of getting bitten. Um, you can sort of, if, if the snake was sick or something like that, you could give them... Um, yeah, antibiotic needle or whatnot, or take swabs from the cloaca or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it's just a really good tool. And if this was too small or too big, the tube, you can actually slide another tube in like that end and feed it through um, and swap the size of them as well if you need it tighter or bigger or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's how we do that. Um, yeah, a little bit about this girl, this girl sorry. Uh, Collet snake, um, dangerously venomous. The venom is quite quite toxic. Um, worse than a, apparently worse than a red belly. Um, more up there with a mulga snake. Wouldn't have the venom yield as the same as a mulga, but it would still be up there. And I have heard people getting bitten, having yeah quite nasty experiences. So yeah, still want to get tagged by one of these guys. And pretty much when we're releasing them, and this is their enclosure here. So I don't know if she's going to go, but. A lot of the times, might keep going that way. You can sort of just poke them like that and she'll go all the way through. Just poking her head out the other end there now. And just pull that out like that and she's back in the enclosure.